Hi, welcome to a new video and today I'm up in Cumbria at a little dealership called Cumbria Leisure Sales. Um, been here a couple of years and it's one of these I've been meaning to come and have a look at. Anyway, today is one of those days. Now he's quite down on stock because he's had a bit of, like he said, I've had a bit of a run on my vans. Um, so consequently, uh, there's not a great deal of choice at the moment, but he's going to stock up again during the winter to get ready for spring. So what am I doing today? I'm in a coachman for 62. Uh, N washroom, it's a 2014 model. And coming when I came around before and I was looking around, I've uh, been doing a bit of stuff for Prattle Caravan. And I looked at this and thought, do you know what, that looks a really tidy Tora. Uh, I had a quick look on the outside, everything's fine on the outside, thought I'd come and have a look in the inside, quick look, scout about, everything's fine, I thought right, this is what I'm going to do. And it's up at, uh, I think a 5 is short of 13k, but I'll check up on that. Let's get on with the review and let's see if this 10 year old Tora still has what it takes. And that sort of money, if it is, it's a pretty damn good value. Anyway, let's get on. Right, okay, let's start off uh, in the front lounge of course and um, I did just check the price again and it is 13,000 quid and uh, I only think this is looking a real good package but let's have a good check around. So let's start off with this lounge area. Well, as you can see it's the conventional layout, it's two berths, say a washroom, central kitchen and dresser and the large front dinette. Um, what I noticed straight away actually when I came in as well and I sat down was typical good quality um, coachman upholstery. This still looks pretty much as though it's been hardly really sat on very much. And it may not have been but it is in really nice condition. Um, very comfortable. Bolster cushions with it being the VIP of course. And um, yeah, very very nice to sit on and I like the scatter cushions. Now also in the front end here you've got twin blown air heater because it's pre Aldi. Now if you're an Aldi fan then obviously you're going to be a bit disappointed but personally I can take it or leave it. I know people rave about it but you know I think the Truma blown heating system is pretty damn good. There's um, a sensor there for the, um, for the alarm on here uh, obviously main socket down here uh, this obviously comes out and forms another table for coffee there's also speakers set in the wall here nice big long um, sunroof and a large hikey roof vent which is a dying breed in this day and age of modern tourists of course you've got the little corner lockers here too lockers there too and Lock of storage over here. You've got four LED spot lamps, um, and when it comes to bedtime, you can either have these as two single beds or make up into double. And this is what I like because when it slides out like that and it slides out on the other side, it makes bed making so much easier. And stupidly enough, I think they've just reverted back to going on slats again. Uh, I presume it's obviously a lot cheaper. Uh, but even Loon used to put that in their Venus range. They used to put that mechanism in the Venus range. Now, uh, as I say, it's very, very smart. In, in fact, it's in very nice condition. Um, access locker storage is only on one side and not on the other. 
but um, I can figure of it for that. But it's a very airy spot to be, very smart. And I'm liking this already for 13k, or less than 12,995. Let's look what the rest of the VIP has to offer. Well, the side kitchen is pretty good as well because you've got obviously a dual fuel hob and you've got a proper sink unit in here. You haven't got the usual sink and that's it in your, in your plastic drainer. So it was a full stainless steel jobby. A little bit marked, but you know, it is 10 years old after all that. But otherwise in really nice condition. And just while I'll say this as well is that um, uh, Darren who runs this he really keeps it, he really preps his vans up really well. Storage for your utensils, as I say, dual fuel hob, full oven, storage under here, more drawer storage, uh, main sockets up there, locker storage over here, and this van feels as tight as the day it was made actually. There we go. Now over on this other side of course we have the um, fridge, fridge freezer, some shelving, someone's put these in look, stop anything moving around. And also you've got the top here, a microwave, it's a sharp microwave, nothing wrong with that. Um, okay it doesn't look like very nicely fitted in there, it looks like it's been an afterthought but it is out of the way. It controls for your trim heating and also some more main sockets and for your TV. Now while I'm on about the TV I'll tell you something now. Um, the turn to uh, the Avetech stick uh, antennae uh, for, for, for the television and to be quite honest they are pretty useless. Having had some on various vans, Elders had them on and they were not brilliant at all but I'll tell you a bit more about that after. Uh, yeah, blown air outlet here, of course. Um, obviously, the main entrance door and some con the control panel above. Nice mirror as you come in. LED just above there too. So the kitchen area, and it's and there's plenty of room for people to manoeuvre if they're coming in. And you're at the old sink there. You can get on with what you're doing without having to be bothered. Right, I'm going to look at the washroom because the washrooms in coaches are particularly pretty damn good. Oh, one thing I won't forget is while I'm here, it's got the Omnivent extractor fan in and that's looking nice and clean as well. Okay, let's proceed into that rear washroom. Right, it looks like there's been there's some sort of tap on thing here. I don't know what it's. Let's have a look. Yeah, there must be a port showing or something with it. Anyway, um, it's all been thrown in the back here. It doesn't matter, we can still see what's what. Great circular type um, shower cubicle, nicely put in the corner here, fet for cassette uh, electric flush glue of course, uh, window there, good sink, storage underneath, big mirror, uh, lots of space in here, really lots of space, typical coachman and a really good size wardrobe. To me this looks like someone's obviously maybe packed in caravan in. and strangely enough and I was just telling you about the aerial one there is a status TV aerial in there now so I think someone's retrofitted that because they knew how bad the other one was try and shut this one up a slight slope but again this fan feels really nicely and tightly still screwed together it's, it's really smartly um, fitted out big drawers there and of course, again, you know, we've got this, we've got the awning as we say. So I think it's obviously someone's given up, and this makes it something you're really tempting buy. Okay, let's see what we think of it. Let's do a summary. There's a lot of traffic going by. We're right on the old original A6. The M6 is only just literally over that hill there. So, but still, a lot of people obviously use the A6 and, and what have you. Um, so yeah, uh, somewhere on the van, for five or short of 13k, I think this gets a real big thumbs up from me. 
it's nice and clean, it's been really well looked after. Someone who's had it, they've looked after it, they've not hammered it at all. Um, it's coming with obviously with Acarole etc, all the bits and bobs. This really makes so somebody who's looking for their first Tora and 13k isn't a bad price to start. This VIP packs a real old punch. Now I know some say well it's not got the Aldi heating and we've mentioned this before but to be quite honest that blown air heating system will keep this uh, coach and ni nice warm and toasty. You, 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 you'll be able to go out in winter in this and you'll be really really nice and warm. Great kitchen, really good condition. That hob looks hardly used. It's dual fuel of course. We've got the fridge freezer at the side there and we've got the side dresser and that microwave uh, over there as well. You've got an alarm on there, you've got ATC, um, you've got obviously alloy wheels and also there's a mover fitted on here as two. Looks, looks fairly recent. The alloys, I've just checked those, they're not scuffed, they're nice and looked after. It's got heavy duty corner steadies of course and that big hikey roof end, oh, that's great. I mean I've got one of those in my Ranger, that is a dying dying sight in Montoras today believe me and I don't know what well I suppose again it's down to cost isn't it but it really is a brilliant roof vent to have in um, going into the washroom great washroom plenty of place there to plenty of space sorry to say to say to get changed so no problem there um, really well fitted out ideal for a small CL site where there's a few facilities you'll be really really it's home from home um, big sunroof which I do like on the coachman's and I must admit I did like this profile so general thoughts overall I think for the money I think this takes some beating it's a really nice Torah for two now I said to you before about the Avtex TV aerial now they were notoriously bad unless you were sat on top of the transmitter you didn't get much of a picture now I had a couple of cameras on, on, on review and years gone by when they put this on and people say what do you think of that it's rubbish it's no good now I know when Elders fitted it on um, and then Coachman fitted it on you know and I say well you can't get a decent picture oh yes you can yeah you can yeah yeah you must be you, it must be the way where you are you must be in the bad reception area now people in their um, uh, vision um, plus uh, TV aerials were getting a picture I wasn't so I was rather annoyed so this has got the stick on there, but like we saw in the wardrobe, there is the Vision Plus removable retractable aerial. So what somebody's done is they've said, that's no good, stick as one of them in, and the job looks like it's been done properly as well, because you've got to be a bit careful, because somebody tries to do it, there's another hole in that roof for more, you know, for another uh, entrance for water to get in. It looks all well steel, it looks all, it's all dry. This van is really, really nice. So, I spoke to Darren, the owner of Leisure, uh, of uh, Cumbria Leisure, uh, and say, really nice chap, um, and he has some nice stock here, saying not much today because he's, you know, he's had a bit of a run, um, and not, not really much in the way of part X is coming in. So, you know, if you're a small dealer, that can heavily dent you. But I've looked at his prices, his prices look good. A fair, very fair. The van's look in nice condition. It's, it's a nice little dealership. Look, if you're up this way, take the turn, take the turn off for Sharp and come over and see Cumbria Leisure because he's open five days a week. Sorry, blow that. Seven days a week. Um, you probably have to give him a, a buzz for him to come out and see you. But you can just come and wonder at your, at your leisure and, and and not be pressured into a sale uh, like some of the big boys are. Now you probably heard the motorbikes coming past because the old A6 is definitely a, a, a really favourite spot for the bikers to come this old way and um, and yeah it's, it's a real scenic route and it drops back down over into Kendall. So I'm going to wrap this video up, uh, please keep liking, please keep subscribing and also please give us your comments, do you think this is a nice fan as well? I think it's a belter, I really do, it's a belter. Well, how many times do I use that word? I don't often. I am on this case. I'll uh, see you on the next video. And again, thanks for watching. And um, keep subscribing. And please don't forget to share the videos. And if you do buy this van, 
and you've seen this video, please tell Darren. At least that he knows that someone's actually taking notice of what I say and do. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.